And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Dunk Low in the white black colorway, otherwise known as the Panda. Can you tell any difference between these two? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a comparison for you between two pairs of the Nike Dunk Low. So we have a retail pair on my right here which purchased from Flip Supply and we'll just be comparing some of the differences between a retail pair and a fake pair if you are trying to purchase a retail pair. So before we get into this video I'd like to give a big shout out to Legitmark who are today's sponsor. So if you've seen my other videos already, you know that Legitmark is the standard for sneaker authentication and is the safest and most reliable place to get your sneakers authenticated. So if you don't know the difference between a retail and a fake pair, you want to get them checked. There's a link in the description to help you out. So here we have the two boxes. And to be honest, there really isn't too much between the two boxes. There is a little bit more damage on the fake box compared to the retail one, but that is to be expected. Spinning the shoe around to the side, and if we take a look at the label, and I'll give you a close-up of this, you can see differences here. If you look at the size 10, where it says UK9 as well, this is much larger on the retail box compared to the fake one. And if you look at the Nike Dunk Low Retro text, you can see slight differences in size of the font. However, the label is pretty close, but is slightly smaller on the fake box compared to the retail one. When looking from above, the fake box does look a slightly darker red, but that is really hard to tell and can only really be seen in studio lighting. So there really isn't much to tell between the two boxes. So we'll open up and take a look at the shoes themselves. So here is the fake one and here is the retail one. Both have covered paper over the top, which is not a good sign because the fakes usually have the paper along the bottom. But in terms of feel, there is a slight difference. The fake one, the paper is much thicker than on the retail one. The retail one is really thin indeed. So we'll open it up. And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Dunk Low in the white black colorway, otherwise known as the Panda. Can you tell any difference between these two? So we'll take out both of the shoes. The retail one did come from Flip Supply, so you can check them out on Instagram if you want to. And here are the two pairs. And from first glance, this is gonna be very, very close indeed, just because it's such a simplistic colorway, but we'll be going into some of the details if you are trying to purchase the retail one. So the first major difference to note between the two pairs is actually the retail one does not come with any spare laces. This is a little bit disappointing because these would have looked amazing with that white lace and the white tongue combination. However, on the fake one, you do actually get that option because they do come with a set of fake laces attached. It is kind of a minty white. It has a slight blue tint to it, so I don't know why they've done that. But obviously, on the retail one, it doesn't come with spare laces, so that is something to look for. However, I kind of like that the fake ones have come with the spare laces. When looking from above, and I'll give you a close-up of this, you can look at the actual toe shape, and you can see there's a clear difference in the shape of the toe box itself. On the fake one, you can see it's a far more boxy shape compared to the retail one, which is perfectly curved. I know the QC on these shoes was actually really, really bad. However, the pair that I got here seems to be very good indeed. There's not many flaws on the retail one at all. Spinning the shoe around to the back and taking a close-up of that Nike embroidery, this is where most fakes go wrong. So here, once again, you can see clear differences between the retail and fake. On the fake one, the Nike embroidery is much larger than on the retail one, and this therefore gives a different placement on the actual back leather panel. So here you can see that on the retail one, it's placed slightly higher and the Nike embroidery is actually smaller. Whereas on the fake one, it's placed directly in the middle and the text is much larger. Also looking at this white paneled leather on the back of the heel below, you can see that it's much slimmer on the retail one compared to the fake one. Fake one, the white paneled leather is much bigger. One major difference, and this is quite obvious from the side, and if you take a look at the side angle of the shoe, you can see there are differences between retail and fake. The fake one is a lot more chunky and just kind of looks almost like a bigger shoe. These are both the same size, size UK 9, 
And the retail one just looks a little bit more slimmer and more sleek. And I think this will represent on foot. And it will just look a little bit clumpy on foot when you're wearing the fake one compared to the retail one. So do look out for the shape on the side if you are trying to legit check. I'm sorry to say, but unfortunately, the leather quality is very, very similar indeed. There is really no difference at all. They're both reasonably soft and both feel pretty much identical in terms of texture of the leather. When taking a look at the bottom of the shoe and we take a closer look at the actual tread, you can see differences here underneath the Nike logo. So underneath the Nike logo, you can see a difference between retail and fake. You can see that the texture on the fake one is much more vibrant than it is on the retail one. The retail one does have a sort of texture to it, but it's much more smooth compared to how visible it is on the fake one. And this should be showing up clearly on the camera. Another difference between the two pairs is actually on the tongue itself. And I'll give you a close up of the label here. So as you can see, the difference between the label is very clear indeed. The retail one, the label is much bigger than it is on the fake. The fake label is incredibly tight and very small. And you can see that the Nike logo placement on the label itself is much further down because of this label size. Whereas on the retail one, there's a clear gap between the bottom of the label and the Nike logo itself. When looking in studio lighting, there is actually a clear difference in color between the two laces. So on the retail one, the laces do actually kind of give up a blue tinge to them, whereas on the fake one, they are actually a pure black color. However, this is very difficult to see unless you have them directly under studio lighting, but there is a difference between the color of the laces. So as you can see from this video, these shoes are quite close from far away, but up close, there are still differences to note if you are trying to buy a retail pair and not get fooled by the fake, but from afar, they really do look pretty close. This one is a little bit more chunky, and the differences to look for if it is a dead stock pair is definitely the spare laces and mainly the toe box shape. The Nike and the embroidery on the back, I have seen quite a few flaws on the retail pair, so just be careful of that. But if you are struggling to legit check a pair like this, do check out Legit Mark because they are here to help. That is it for me. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, do all that. It does help the channel grow. It helps me do videos just like this. And I hope this video has helped you if you are trying to purchase a pair of these. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.